Hello, this is Nathan Freitas from the New York State Senate CIO team. So I want to give a quick demo today of uh, our thoughts on an iPad application that can access the Senate data. We've been playing around with using open standard code, HTML5, JavaScript um, to build web, uh, mobile web apps. And we're going to have some apps out for iPhone and Android uh, very soon. But at the same time, we can scale this up to work on a tablet-based computer. The thing about the iPad is it's meant to be sort of tactile and physical. So we have this wood, you know, sort of a legislative wood uh, background. And the idea is you have these tabs. Maybe they're like manila envelopes or something that you can tap or flick up. Um, so I can touch those. And out pops um, news from the Senate blog. So I can, I can you know, jump, tap through. Imagine my finger tapping these. I can drag off and say, hmm, not interested in that. this. I'm interested in, maybe I can actually resize it and put it off on the side here if I want to save it for later. This I could resize and put up here and save it. Um, you know, just some using your fingers, multi-touch, drag, gestures, things like that. Thinking about how that content might be accessible. We can also, um, this is all hitting live data using our APIs, so blog RSS APIs. This is using JSON, uh, I think, RSS to hit our open ledge system. So again, I can look through some bills, see what's been going on. If there's something I'm interested in, I can resize it and shrink two at a time, actually. Sorry, the multi-touch on the simulator is not very easy to use. So maybe I can create a stack over here of bills that I'm interested in and maybe a stack over here of things that I'm not interested or I want to follow up on and, and file away. Um, again, same with meetings. This is all using just sort of reusable code so we can quickly go through and think about, again, what a tablet sort of tactile uh, screen looks like and what an app using multiple APIs. Um, neat thing is we have actually HTML5 video support through um, our, our hosting on Blip TV. So this is hitting the Blip API and I can actually move around these videos too and I can play a video and um, should start playing, let's see. Um, so again I can throw videos off I'm not interested in, I could grab the video I do want to see and um, Good morning, everyone. So um, thank you all for coming and I can actually full screen um, to this, this event, um, this event of importance, which is regarding the census 2010. Uh, Pause it, close it, flick that video away. Let's see, I want to watch this video now. Up here. Or maybe this video down here. I will be supporting the bill, but... Maybe, I have I a think lot of reservations We about may it. not be able to resize the videos. First here, of all, but, I have two housing. Um, complexes in my district. I have Anyhow. two. So that's video. Which so now I can stop this has video nothing here. to do. I'll jump around. Jump back. Um, and then finally photos. This is hitting our uh, some photos on Flickr, just kind of random photos about work. And these I can also resize. So I can say, oh I like that video that photo. Let me resize it. Put it over here. Let's see this one. I really like this one. I'll put it over here. This over here, let's see, resize, resize, resize. So as you see, the idea is again, tactile, you know, we're not, I haven't totally figured out how to utilize all these features, but they start getting pretty interesting for a more physical experience. So that's the open ledge, uh, I mean the <laughs> New York Senate tablet application interface so for, for now. Thanks.